Hi and welcome to my maths class. When we are doing arithmetic or geometric series, we need to remember to read the question correctly because the information given can be very tricky. Now usually when we start, we write down our S, N, N, A and D. But what happens when we have too little information? Let's do the following example. Right, the question says, determine the sum of the following series. As soon as they use the word sum of, we know we are using SN. So we have SN, N, A and D. Right? By now you should be able to look at a sum and determine is it arithmetic or geometric. From this you can clearly see that it is an arithmetic with a constant difference of 2. Now, first we know we write down our S, N, N, A and D. I have my A is 3 and I have my D is 2. But we don't have N, neither do we have S, N. Which means we are now stuck. When you substitute and you realize that you don't have enough information, Then we go to TN. Write down the information exactly as you have previously learned it. We write down TN, N, A and D for in the information we have. Now we don't have N but we have A is 3 and we have D is 2. We have one more thing. We have that Tn is equal to 111. Since we have 3 out of 4, we go to our formula and substitute what we need. We're using a Tn formula and it's arithmetic. Okay, we're using a Tn formula and it is arithmetic, we substitute A is 3 plus we don't have N, we have D is 2 and we have that TN is equal to 111. Once you do that, it is simple algebraic solving for an unknown. If you are not familiar with this, you need to go to your grade 10 work and learn how to solve for X. We now would have that N is equal to 55. Once you have the answer, then you go back to answer the question. Remember this was not answering the question. This simply gave us n but it didn't help us get the sum of the series. So now we take the n we have and we substitute it into our s, n, n, a and d where we started in the beginning. We have now 3 out of 4. n is equal to 55. We use the SN formula. Again, use the correct formula. We are doing arithmetic. Substitute the information you have. Put it in exactly as it is in your calculator and then you get the answer which is 3135. Now read the questions correctly because when they are giving you these sums they are very very tricky. The language will get you into a problem. Let's take the following example. Okay, The question says how many terms are there in the following arithmetic sequence? Now, what you would notice is they're asking about the terms. Usually when you see the word terms, you go into T, N, N, A and D. 
Now, if we're going into T, N, N, A, and D, A is easy, 34, D is 6. But you do not have T, N. Be careful. What they are saying is that it will add up to. Now, as soon as they say add up to, then what we actually have is an SN. So, SN is 1530. Be careful with the language. Once you have 3 out of 4, it's simple substitution. We use the SN formula because it says it adds up to 1530. Look at the difference. This one, they've got plus 111. Whereas in this one, they say it equals to 1530. So the one is giving us a TN, whereas in this question is giving us an SN. So we have one. So we have 1530 equals to n over 2 into 2 times 34 plus n minus 1 times 6. Once you do the distributive law, which is a section we had covered in grade 10, we get rid of all the brackets. We would have 34n plus 3n squared minus 3n. If you are not familiar with how I had moved from this step to this step, then you have to go over the grade 10 and 11, solve for x, simplifying and factorizing. Once we got rid of the brackets, we have a trinomial. After this, you can solve choosing any method that you favor. You can solve by making brackets. You can solve by using the formula, whichever one is easier for you. If you are not familiar with how to solve trinomials, then you need to go to your grade 11 section under solve for x. So we have 3n plus 85 and n minus 18 is equal to 0. If we solve, we have n is equal to minus 85 over 3 and n is equal to 18. Now, because n is a whole number, it is a position of terms, it cannot be a negative. n is always a whole number and always positive. Therefore, this one is not accepted. Our final answer is n is equal to 18. So how many terms are there in the following arithmetic sequence? There are 18 terms in the following arithmetic sequence. Thank you for watching.